And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some fun Smith and Nivea to close out our meme tier Monday today. We haven't had the best success yet, but I am looking forward to this one. I think this is probably going to be our best deck of the day because we are playing another Ezreal deck. We've been doing really well with Ezreal decks recently, and we have good interaction. We're going to have um, removal spells like Death Ray, Mystic Shot, um, Static Shock, some good removal spells, Aftershock, plus we have some crazy cool stuff in here. So we got Funsmith which has all of our spells and skills deal an extra point of damage. Now Funsmith only costs four mana, used to cost five, um, but only costs four. And so every, everything that we play does an extra point of damage. And that can be awesome with all these other PNZ spells. And then our other champion though is going to be Anivia. So Anivia has the attack, deal one to all enemies and the enemy Nexus. Well, if you have a Funsmith in play, it deals an extra point of damage. So now it's doing two to all enemies and the enemy nexus. So basically your six mana Anivia is just as good as your level up Anivia. Um, and then of course a level up Anivia gets even better. We also have the Kempug Shredder that can do two to all enemies with a fun Smith in play. That should be pretty awesome. And then we got a spicy one at the top end, True Shot Barrage, seven mana, deal three to one enemy, two to another, and one to another. But of course, if we have a fun Smith in play, that does four, then three, then two. So our deck's really built around Funsmith. Um, we also have Starlet Seer for um, the two mana spot, which as y'all know, I love playing Starlet Seer decks. I think this should be a very good Starlet Seer deck, being able to grant the top ally of our deck plus one, plus one quite a bit and you know buff up some stuff. We have this new Spoils of War card that should be a pretty sweet protection spell and also be able to help buff, st buff stuff up. So definitely looks like a very fun deck. Um, we have two very important two mana spells also shared spoils so if we can uh, trigger plunder either by attacking or dealing damage with like one of our burn spells or ballistic bots ignition or anything like that uh, then we can um, you know have a nice card draw spell in here that really helps out the starlet seer like those two work great together and also a iterative improvement be able to create a copy of a follower um, which can be awesome with you know like getting Extra copies of Ballistic Bot, extra copies of Starlet Seer, those are awesome. But how about extra copies of Funsmith? Yeah, now we're talking. So with between um, Shared Spoils, they can help draw into Funsmith, and then Iterative Improvement, they can make more copies of Funsmith. Maybe we can get two Funsmiths in play, if we're lucky. And then these cards start doing crazy stuff with two Funsmiths in play. You know, if we get three, like, yeah, that, that could be insane. So that's kind of what our deck's about. Funsmith Anivia looks really cool. Let's go ahead and play our five games over in normal. Here we go. Ooh, going against the All Shadow Isles deck. All right, I will start the prediction. True Shot Barrage, Anivia, very powerful, but kind of slow. Actually, I'm just going to mulligan all this stuff, to be honest. I know, I mean, I love Funsmith, but... I think we need, like, our... Ballistic Bots, Starlet Seers, Mystic Shots, that kind of stuff. They're going to be um, a Fearsome deck. Should be a Mistwraith deck. So it should have, like, a lot of, um, you know, 2-2 two, two Fearsomes, 3-2 Fearsomes, 4-2 Fearsomes, and so on. All right, turn two, 10 power. Never good to see. We shall pierce their treasonous us. Blessed by snow and stars. What's up, escaped abomination? Dang, they weren't scared. Does not ruffle our feathers. This is me taking seven. I can make this block and keep my 5-1 alive, but then their Callista stays alive and like almost levels up. I should probably kill the Callista. Hey, <laughs> yeah, that is the perfect turn one, two, three. Attacking for 14 on turn three with, you know, Callista. All right, Funsmith, help us out. Dang. 
Can I go down to five? I guess I have to. So I need to need to make sure that the static shock happens first. Kill the bark beast first. Yeah, you've already you've already returned, Callista. Can't return again. So the shredder can do two to all enemies, but that doesn't necessarily kill anything. I can go Ezreal grab a mystic a free mystic shot. Mystic shot would kill the escaped abomination. You know, Anivia attack only does two. Pass. Because they're gonna play stuff. Like that. Alright, then we'll melt some faces with our face melter. And I'm hoping they do not open attack the next turn. I'm also hoping that we draw MK2. MK2. Cool. Well, that's a problem. These are now leveled up and do their level up thing. Which isn't that big of a deal. Not that big a deal. We still good. Still good, still good. Okay, now Anivia or Ezreal. Let's see, Anivia has harsh winds for a champion spell. That does sound like a useful champion spell. The world's a big place. Let's see all of it. Gotcha. Well, that's just plain rude. Good thing, good thing we have a ridiculous permanent plus two plus four card. Um, there's not really a reason to play this, is there? So basically, if they have another harrowing, I'm going to be dying, aren't I? Probably. Because like that thing doesn't kill me. I don't need to play this right now. Yeah, our fun smith has been sweet. Like the deal two to everything with the face melters to you know get rid of the harrowing. That was clutch. So, all right, looks like no harrowing because they're just passing. So if they pass, I should probably pass. But it's not like they have it. Here in your time of need. Yeah, I was gonna say it's not like they have anything good anyway. All right, down to seven. We probably have this one here. In fact, I definitely have this one here. Why am I not playing the slow speed first? <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Until our paths cross once more. Ezreal wins again. Mm. No, 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 no. Not Brom Vladimir. No, my kryptonite. No. I haven't beat Brom Vladimir since like 92 or so. It's been forever. Okay, so if they play the card, the Scar Grounds, the game is over. 
but if they don't play the card, the Scar Grounds, the game's probably over because I can't beat this deck. So I only have one Aftershock in my deck as far as destroying a uh, Scar Grounds is concerned. I want to copy their Crimson Disciple more than copy my Ballistic Bot. That'd give me a 3-4 and a 2-4. It's not like I'm really casting the Ignitions that much this game anyway. I'll try no! Oh, man, GG's. I love a taste of the action. Ugh. Aftershock? Yeah, this is... So even the person that made this deck says it's a really bad matchup. I'm just gonna pass. Alright, we got our three power blockers. That's trading our two mana iterative improvement will basically make it a four mana iterative improvement for their one drop, but that's still not necessarily a bad trade. Oh man. Anivia against Scar Mothers? Ouch. This just doesn't <laughs> this just doesn't work. Is this is not gonna work well for us. Okay, found Fun Smith. Let me show you. Definitely a necessary card. Routes closed. All right, yo, girl. Cool. So I take six, down to ten. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. I served for decades, and you call on me now. We see through all. System operate. If I kill anything, then dang, then they are able to play more stuff. So right by not killing anything, they're not able to play new stuff. So that's like the good part about not killing anything is not allowing them to replace. Sweet, another Funsmith. No, oh, let me play the other Funsmith first. Two, four, six, ten. Uh, I can't just take it. <laughs> That's unfortunate. All right, all right, all right. Let's see. You can block there. Question mark. Block. 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 Because I feel like they have like Death Lotus and, and Ice Shard and that kind of stuff that's just going to be really bad for me to see. I do have a backup Fun Smith. Okay. 
Okay, so that'll put me down to four. Hopefully they don't kill me from four. Exactly awesome. How can Brom help? Man, these ignitions dealing three now. <laughs> these ignitions are crazy. Does another three. Dude, Funsmith is kind of crazy. There we go. That'll do. We actually beat Scargrounds. They didn't have a very good hand. Didn't have champion until the very end, and they didn't have, you know, like your Death Lotus or anything like that. But Funsmith helped cancel out the Scargrounds. So good job, Funsmith. Lucian Azir. Alright. Usually small amounts of damage should be pretty good in this matchup. I'm thinking about just keeping in this entire hand, TBH. I think I will. I like this hand. It's a little on the slow side, but we got some good cards. Oh, because yeah, they got they got a lot of champion mastery for normal. Some people just some people just prefer playing normal, right? Like some people kind of have like ranked anxiety and don't really play in ranked, so and they've played this deck quite a bit, but they just played in normal. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Safety is engaged. Join me if you want to live. All right, they're too scared to block. Or they're scared, too scared to attack. Sorry. I don't want to show them my spoils of war. Was I supposed to just go spoils of war there? I probably was, wasn't I? So 3-4 doesn't kill this. No, like that's a bug they see they they changed that. Like they did fix that bug. You're saying that you could change the units that's blocking. That was a bug that has been changed. Just take two. Yeah, they fixed that one. Really hope that this works because I don't have the mana for this uh, Spoils of War. Wow. Yeah, they are awesome at this deck. Yeah, they're really good at this deck. Just have both champions. Have tons of... That was a good draw. Have tons of neat combat tricks. Really good at this deck. Yep, sorry, Funsmith. Lucian had to die because Lucian was going to be doing all its whole like level up stuff and everything like that. 
It kind of had to die. Zier's at seven. So I can make a Valor and then have my Valor kill their Valor. And I can do th I could do three damage to a Zier on the way. I guess I could just kill a Zier instead of kill Valor. By snow and stars. I was thinking like do this challenge and then <laughs> you know kill the Valor. But I guess I could just kill the Azir. Probably make more sense. Stop with these Rangers resolves. Stop. I just want to play True Shot Barrage because True Shot Barrage is cool. Okay, so he takes six down to seven, but they are out of cards. So we're not doing terribly, because they're out of cards now. And I'll have my Anivia. That will kill these things. Probably should play Ballistic Bot first. I wanted to have Troll Champ, but... Why would you not just wait and play that afterwards and then get a better card, but I guess. Snow, wind, and ice. Sorry, bot. Rend the skies. Yeah, we're doing good. We got this. There we go, GG's. 3-0 for Funsmith, Anivia. Even against that really good Lucian Azir hand. Still pulled it out. Alright, back to Azir, this time with Hecaro. The cooler Azir deck. Okay, we are going to Mulligan, Mulligan. Maybe keep Mulligan. Death Ray Static Shock. Hopefully draw... Uh, I don't know. Two drop? Yeah, two drop. Starless here. Come, the journey ahead is long. Do not fear death. Wow. Let's not ruffle our feathers. So even if they have Vile Feast, I'll have the Spoils of War, but I hope they don't, so I hope I get to, you know, share its Spoils next turn. But we'll, we'll be spoiled in one way or another. Cool. Not bad, not bad. The somewhat bad part about this is I don't have the mana to Funsmith and do other stuff this next turn. Not bad. Azir's command. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. Alright, give it fire give it firepower. What? Just a block? So I want the other Starlet Seer in play for like whenever I play spells. Okay. That's gonna do some draining. 
that's gonna do some draining. Please don't play Hecarim. Don't do it. Alright, more Neverglades. Alright, so this will happen first. Then we'll do two to each of these. So they should die at the same time. So they should not see each other die. So we shouldn't get any kind of drain effect. Be nice to never miss. Ooh, that's gotta hurt. All right, I'm gonna just pass and keep them from uh, playing more stuff. Because in particular, definitely scared of Hecarim, right? Like if if I don't pass, like if I play that Mystic Shot, then they play Hecarim. I would only have two other mana. Return. Yeah, your emperor, aka Funsmith. Because Funsmith's your emperor. Um, I don't know, I guess I could just do some blocking. I've got just the thing. You're between me and glory. Okay, so Ezreal doesn't do any more damage because of Funsmith. Ooh, we got a Nivea in here too now? I was going to copy and make a new Funsmith. Let's see, copy play Funsmith costs six, so we'd have six mana left. Playing a Nivea costs six, so we have six mana left. That's a tough choice. That's a tough choice. <laughs> no. All right, well, that was exactly awesome. We are 4-0 and o with Funsmith and Nivea, so we're going to go on over to Ranked for our game number five. All right, playing against some Burn in Ranked. So, yeah, so that's what we do with Meme Tier Day. We usually just play the decks in normal because, you know, they're kind of silly. But if a deck does really well, like this one, this one's doing really well. Um, then if it goes 4-0, then we go play our fifth game in rank to try to finish out the 5-0. I'm going to keep this hand. This hand looks solid. Alright, we'll get rid of that. Because I also want to put this back because I want to draw MK2 and then MK3. So let's not just take two. Turn one, I know like we can static shock that later, but we just don't have to wait until later. Time for the main event. So I go to fourteen. Don't blink or you miss me. Axes coming right up. And now I can attack. Watch and learn. Create free mystic shot. Yeah. Cause I want to get a free mystic shot and then Funsmith. Mystic shot the Draven. I guess I just don't get to Funsmith this turn. We should keep Ezreal alive. Could still just play the Funsmith, but that doesn't 
make the most sense. Sorry, Shared Spoils, ain't got time for you. Same with Progress Day. Kill battle arena battlecaster? Really want to kill Draven. If I kill Draven, I take eight. I guess I can't really take eight. I guess I block a Poro with Ezreal. That doesn't seem great. Yeah, I just don't want to kill that battlecaster because I have the static shock. But you gotta do what you gotta do. If I would have just not done, if I would have done no blocking, we would have taken six damage. By blocking, I just took seven. But it did get vision out of their hand. Something ancient stirs. I bring the storm. Which is important. So the thing is they're they're kinda out of cards, right? So like if, if they can find seven points of burn or if they can find like a jinx, we're in a lot of trouble here. But if they don't have either of those, they, they don't have Jinx or a bunch of burn spells, we're good. Like, we can we can stabilize for sure against, like, the rest of the deck. Like, so we just gotta hope they're just other units that attack. Right, like, hopefully it's more, you know, Poros and Arena Battlecaster and One Drops and even Draven. Anything else. All the rest of the deck, you know, crowd favorites. Sure, go ahead. Anything else but Jinx or burn spells. You should try blinking sometime. Okay, well, it was Jinx. So draw two units, please. Unit, unit. Come on, get some get some luck. Unit, unit. Let me death ray this Jinx. Good. Battlecaster, then the other one's House Fighter. This other card, this is House Spider right here. Let's take it. Let it happen. No! No, oh, it's supposed to be House Spider. Alright, so that puts me down to three. So now how are we going to do this? Eight. Next turn is turn 8, so 8 regular mana, this one spell mana. We need to figure out how to kill them as fast as possible. I could kind of see... I could see a lot of lines. I could see, like, you know, make another fun smith first. I could see just casting the progress day and looking for burn spells and, like, removal and stuff like that. I guess attack and then a bunch of shared spoils for more stuff doesn't make the most sense. It's probably one of those two. It's not exactly legal, but it is exactly awesome. Locked and loaded. Strike them down. Yeah, so sh three shared spoils is like a progress day, but it draws cards that we don't need. Right? Like progress day draws us spells and spells are what we need. So that's that's why going trying to go with like three shared spoils is not as good of an idea as spending the two extra mana for the progress day because you find like these kind of things the cards that we need. Is he here yet? Oh man! All right, that went pretty well. Rules are made to be broken. Boo! Well, I couldn't stop that. Nothing for me to do about that, unfortunately. So 
So just had another Jinx on top. Okay, so that was a really close game. That was a very good game that we had there. That was, um, you know, one where Jinx, Jinx is awesome, right? Like you have like, you kill all their stuff. You just hope that's not last card Jinx. It was last card Jinx for the Super Mega Death Rocket. And then we still were like, okay, we can stabilize. We just need one more turn. You know, you saw the, like the burn that we had in the hand. All we needed was, you know, the not to find, you know, basically not find Get Excited or Jinx. Those are the only two cards that allowed them to win with those two draw steps. They didn't draw Get Excited, but they did draw Jinx. And so that allowed them to win. All right, so that was, um, but you know, that happens. So that was uh, Funsmith Anivia. Very good deck, very fun deck to play if y'all like playing Anivia decks. This is a different take on Anivia deck that I thought was pretty sweet. I enjoyed playing it. The Spoils of War card has really overperformed. This has been a card that um, I guess we probably should have had in our other Failure decks that we played today that didn't do as well. This was maybe a combat trick that we should have had more of. Um... I've, I've been loving Death Ray these days. I've just been uh, very, uh, very happy of having Death Ray in my PNZ removal decks recently. Um, so that, that's a card that I have overlooked in the past, and I've been very uh, impressed with it recently. But yeah, I think, it, I think it worked out very well. So, um, you know, it's not like the perfect deck, but I think this, is the, this deck is uh, certainly good enough for ranked. And yeah, I think it can be there moving forward. All right, so that's Funsmith Anivia. So those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. Um, what do you want to happen with the patch update? I guess by the time this video comes out, y'all probably know what happens with the patch update. Um, so yeah, let me know. What, what, are your, what, are, what are your thoughts on whatever balance patch changes happen in patch 2.5? I believe that's what it's gonna be, 2.5. All right, but anyway, um, that's gonna be it. Like, that's it for today. So uh, thank you so much for watching some Funsmith Anivia, and I will see you for the next video.